So this story starts off basically when I used to go to the Army Cadets, which was about a year ago, and it was just a normal parade night, and a parade night is basically where, you know, you just get together, do some drills, saluting, marching, and all that, etc. Uh, at the end of the night, our platoon commander mentioned this one weekend that was kind of up, coming up that was Gatcom Horse Trials. It's basically where the cadets go, they volunteer, you know, they help out opening and closing gates for the horses, putting up jumps and all that stuff. So I thought, yeah, you know, it'd be all right for experience and everything. And he basically said that, you know, if we want to give our platoon a good name, then we should go there. So I want all cadets to be attending this weekend, you know, bring a sleeping bag, pack a load of food and everything. And yeah, so I thought, yeah, it'd be all right, you know, it'd be pretty cool, you know, horses and everything. So, yeah. I uh, went home, packed my bag, got my sleeping bag, uniform, kit, pretty much everything I needed. My neighbor dropped me off at the field where we were camping at the weekend. Um, it started off pretty good, you know, I mean, everyone was having a laugh, we were playing, you know, we set up our camps and everything and had some s'mores, so it was going pretty smoothly. Uh, bearing in mind, this was like in the middle of December as well, so it was just beyond freezing, I mean, like frostbite cold as well. So, um, Nighttime came, we started settling down, you know, I was in a tent with about three other guys and one of them was a Lance Corporal. It wasn't my tent, it was his tent, so I had to like take care of it and everything. But um, yeah, basically, with my sleeping bag, because I had my sleeping bag set out, I hadn't used it in about two or three years, so I slightly was outgrowing in it. And it was <laughs> just, just a bit, just a bit. <laughs> But um, yeah, I couldn't fit in it at all. I couldn't zip it up or anything because it was just too small. And whenever I tried to like forcefully zip it up, the zip broke. So basically I couldn't wrap myself with the sleeping bag or anything. So I had to sleep in my uniform because it was just too cold to be sleeping in like your pajamas and everything. So the night went by about a couple of hours later. I couldn't sleep at all. The rest of the guys hit the sack. I had no idea what they did. It was too bloody cold for me. But yeah, I had to sleep without a sleeping bag. I didn't go to sleep at all. And um, it got to the point where I actually started hallucinating in the cold, because I was that cold. Because <laughs> um, my teeth were, you know, like, like, like how Scooby-Doo, like, whenever he gets scared, you know, he chatters his teeth. That was basically me throughout the whole night. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I started hallucinating from the coldness. And basically, my hallucination was I was at home. I was on the toilet. And uh, basically, that went on for about a couple of minutes. And whenever I woke up, whenever I gained consciousness, I was kind of still on the toilet, just a bit. And um, <laughs> yeah, because um, when I woke up, I was squatting down. So I thought, what am I doing here? What's going on? And I looked down, and yeah, long story short, my uh, sleeping bag was completely ruined. It was all over my uniform, <laughs> my combat jacket. <laughs> There was a massive puddle in the middle of the tent. The rest of the guys were still sleeping. I was still processing this. I didn't know what was going on at all. And um, yeah, when I finally, when my, when my mind came together and everything, I realized, oh, what have I done? You know, I can't believe I've done this. You know, it's everywhere. It's, it was even over my hands and everything. I don't know how it got there, but it just did. <laughs> but um, yeah. I took a couple of minutes cleaning it up, like, you know, sorting things out. So my sleeping bag was completely useless by then because it was just damp and wet. But um, the color sergeant, who was sleeping next to us, he had a tent next to us. He heard me scuffling around, like unzipping my bag and everything. It was like five in the morning, so he was really not happy at all. You know, he came charging out of his tent. He was pretty mad at me. He came in, he was like, what, what the bloody hell's going on here? And he basically, my pants are still down at this point as well. <laughs> So he looks down, he sees me, and he looks back up as if I've just offended his great ancestors. And he's just looking at me for about five seconds, and you know, he has this really like gritty, serious voice, and he just says to me, you bloody failure, and he just walks out. So basically at that point, he was just tired of my crap, and I couldn't blame him at all, I couldn't believe what I just did. So yeah, I had to, like another five minutes went by, and I'm still cleaning up everything, you know, I'm trying to, like I'm stepping out, of the tent because I had to take off my uniform that I was sleeping in because it was all wet and everything. So I had to let it dry for the next morning because I couldn't go out on duty when, you know, it's everywhere. So yeah, I had to get my pajamas, go outside, uh, lay my uniform down on the grass and it was freezing outside and I was in my pajamas. I didn't have anything else to wrap myself up with because it was all wet. And I stayed out there for about five minutes waiting for it to dry. And yeah, that happened. Everyone else was still asleep. I, you know, I don't know how they were still asleep, but yeah. 
Um, yeah, so it all dried. Um, I had to go to the rest of the line, but I'm a sleeping bag. Um, I didn't sleep at all, so the next morning came. I was still awake. Got up for duty, you know, my uniform had dried, so it was all good. But it was raining, like raining a lot, like the storm was just unbelievable. It was hailstones, the mud was like literally up to here in our boots and everything, like water got inside our boots. So it was like a whole seven hours a day just in that weather was horrendous. But um, anyways, uh, about a couple more hours went by. I was working on the gates and basically the whole job of the gates is opening and closing the gates for the horses. It was a pretty simple and easy job. So yeah, I did that for a while and I was on break. So I decided to go to the toilet. And basically, wherever my hands were so cold, like I couldn't move them, I could literally move them like that much and that was about it because I had frostbite everywhere. So whenever I tried going to the portaloo, I couldn't open the door. It took me like two minutes to try and like get a grip on the door to open it. So I got that done, that was out of the way. Then it was closing the door. That was like another 30 seconds. There was um, taking off my pants, which was another three minutes maybe at least. <laughs> and um, you know how you guys are where you know, where you're actually going to the toilet, you need to hold a certain thing, right? <laughs> Basically my hands were cold at that point and it kind of slipped out of my hands a bit. <laughs> Like, not trying to... <laughs> so, yeah, um, I kind of wet myself again that morning. <laughs> it was on my uh, combat pants, and I missed the toilet completely, and I was trying to get the toilet paper out to clean, to clean up, but I just couldn't get a grip of the toilet paper, and I couldn't, like, do my belts up or anything, so I was kind of... I was in there for another hour. And when I came out, because my break was only 15 minutes long, you know, the color sergeant, he was, he was pissed. He was really pissed at me. <laughs> You know, um, he didn't see it this time, which was good. But yeah, he, you know, he came over, he was swearing, he was shouting, you know, he was dragging me by the collar. He was not happy at all. So I was back on duty on the gates again, and then the hailstorm came. You know, hailstones, you know, they just fall from the sky and everything. But yeah, this was really, really heavy. It felt like BB pellets hitting the back of your ears. So me and a couple of other cadets, we had to take cover behind this tractor. And we were there for about seven minutes while this massive hailstorm was just constantly just like raining down upon us. And I had this horrible thought in my head, this realization that I've just left, because I was the last one to leave the tent and I left the door open. And basically, in, in, like the worst thing is, it's not my tent, it's Lance Corporal's tent as well. I was just staying in there. And all of their equipment were in there, you know, their phones, their uniforms, their clothes, their bags, their sleeping bags, everything was in there. So I had to sprint back to the tent, just praying, just praying that, you know, it was facing in the other direction and none of it went in. When I got there, there was a puddle about this big, like filling the entire tent. And I, I could see everyone's iPads and phones just floating above it as well. <laughs> so yeah, um, I was kind of screwed there for a bit. So basically what I did was I took down the entire tent. I tried to like empty out the puddle. So I was getting everyone's equipment out and everything. Color Sergeant comes back again because I'm late for my shift again. He's pissed at me, you know, once again. And uh, he comes, he's swearing, he's shouting and all that. You know, the tent's like half made and half like collapsed. So basically, Yo, he came, he told me to get back on duty. I went on duty and the tent was just on the floor because I was trying to deconstruct it. So basically I made it look like the storm had just knocked it over. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I made, made it look like the storm knocked it over. Everyone was still on their shifts as well. Another couple of hours went by, but the weekend was cut short because the weather was just too bad. So my neighbor come, he picked me up, he drove me down the road. And as I was driving down the road, I could see like the guys, especially the Lance Corporal, they were at their tents and they were just fuming it. They were pissed off. They were kicking it. They were chucking their phones and everything because everything was just completely ruined. You know? so, but they never found out, so it was all good. You know? <laughs> <laughs> then I went home and honestly, from the storms, from the horrible nights and everything, I looked like I literally just got back from Vietnam. Uh, my mother ran me a bath, you know, bless her and everything. I fell asleep in the bath, you know, choked on the bath water when I woke up and had a cold for about two days, so yeah, the misery didn't end there. And uh, yeah, a lot of other horrible things happened to me, but for the sake of keeping my friends, I think I'm just gonna leave those out. But uh, so yeah, that was GATCOM, thank you.